Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 18 of Koganaros, the Fortress by the Sea, Savage Lands, Season 4. We've made really huge progress on that bridge in the last episode, and today, well, I will be building that thing passively, but everything exciting about it has been explained least about this step in the last episode. So I'm going to continue my work here, but today I want to get the caverns a little bit more into my focus, because I figured that I want to have the underground connection between the continents up and running as fast as possible, because this will be one of the most easy, bigger milestones for this fortress. And I think it's going to be a pretty cool thing that we can do for today's episode as something to do in between. So we have several layers of the caverns. I want to go for caverns layer one because lore wise, fluff wise, however you want to call it, I would think that this would be the area where you want to actually travel because it's the least dangerous one of them. So we will have to be careful about it though because you know things aren't that harmless down here and we have a artifact mitten wonderful that's what i uh, have been working hard for last episode and we have a couple of caged goblins wonderful remember that i had a uh, few experiments in mind with goblins bridges and seawater well, it's like we're going to do these today Maybe not today, maybe next episode, but these guys, I really appreciate them volunteering for the future of Koganoros. So there's a couple of gemstones around that corner. We're going to pick these up as well. So it's going to be a very simple goal here. We're just going to have a straight up corridor connection to the border of the map. I'm not going to go for anything too complicated here, except for the fact that I want to decorate it a little bit. I expect it to have a little bit of flooring. Maybe I'll be putting up a supply room down there, you know, some tables, some drinks, some food, so travelers can make a break there before they enter the fortress, stuff like that. But we're not going to make a huge mega project out of that. That's not my intention here. I wonder if we are going to get through with this uh, uninterrupted here. We are excavating a couple of rough Heliodors, which is a pretty nice site earning here. But it looks like we are actually really already down below the caverns. So this project might be a really simple one. I really don't mind. The um, bridge here is already more than enough work as it is, but I figured that I wanted to do something for this fortress, which is not uh, involving the bridge, as the current phase that we're in is a very, very repetitive one. We just need to lay down the bricks, build a couple of uh, ramps, and rinse and repeat until we have reached the uh, desired height. And therefore I thought, yeah, let's do that road thing today and build the bridge in the meantime in between. Yo, elves! Wonderful that you are saying hi or something like that. The elves, by the way, they are not from this continent. They are natives. You know, they are all the way up here. All the way up here on the map. They come from all the way down here to tell us that we are not allowed to fell any trees. They're stupid. But luckily, as a dwarf, I'm not coming uh, necessarily to make peace with the elves. So, we are going to draw a really long tunnel here, and I'm really wondering if we're getting away that easy. Will be really cool. So, tell you what, we're not going to floor this place. We're just going to smooth it. I think this is exactly the right type of decoration for a Dwarven Road. We're not going to lay any bricks down there. We're just going to make sure 
the ground is nice, smooth, and beautiful. I like the idea of that. All right. You see all these blinking? It's blinking for every one of these blinking tiles. There's one dwarf inbound, ready to smooth that floor. Here they come. So fun. So we're not trading with elves. I'm just letting them wait at my trade depot. No, why should I? They get all upset if I'm daring to offer something made out of wood. But they would be taking my gemstones. Which I'm not giving to them. Gemstones are reserved for the mountain home. I really still hope that this fortress somehow manages to attract the um, estates around itself. So, uh, blah. They want me to cut five trees. Oh, or, or nine trees. All right. So nine trees per year. That's generous, dear, dear elven ambassador. They're bothering for every single tree. Not kidding here. Anyways, so we're going to put a drawbridge here to seal off the corridor if anything horrible might happen. You know, monsters, elves, whatever. Crundles. Flying eyeballs. Stuff from down below. Oh, look! Bismuth. Nice. I really got to check on out how to create Bismuth Bronze. Maybe I should... Uh, order something from the mountain homes in that regard. So yeah, it's a very, very simplistic road here, I admit. But it is going to serve its uh, purpose really well. I do like that. So what I do want to do as, an, a, little, uh, as a little extra, I want to think about how to get the new arrivals into the fortress, you know, a little bit more beautification here. And we have new people. So this time I will put the animals into the pasture before DF Hack tells me that one of the poor critters is starving. That's me learning. I hope the lamb appreciates my efforts. Okay. So, let's see, how's the bridge work going? Ah, oh, very well. So, we are at elevation level 6. I figured I'm going to go all the way up until 10. I want to have a proper big bridge here. And when we reached elevation level 10, we've got... If I didn't count uh, wrong anywhere... 10 or 11 height levels high. That that should be really enough. We're not going to go any higher. That's enough then. All right. So sadly, this remains a virtual connection. We... Wait a sec. For a proper road, actually, we would need to take the border of one of these here. Oh. Now things get interesting. Just realized that we could go for something exciting here. Let's do this. It's a little bit dangerous, but you know. Let's have some fun while have enjoying some danger. So, we need to dig upstairs one more here. All right, so here we are definitely on the elevation level where we can meet the the actual caverns. All right, so we need to connect that properly to some map order. Otherwise, it's lame. You know, this ain't street. This is just did it. 
but I want to have the street connected to into this direction here, you know, the western border, because that's where the other continent is. If I connect the map north, it's not going to resemble anything. So we cannot, well, let's see if we can dig out anything into that direction any further. So let's take some safety measures here. I'm not a fool. We're going to put in a door here. Because, you know, doors are really good at keeping danger out. <laughs> and now we're trying to get ourselves a connection there. All right. Still takes a moment. And once that door has been delivered, we're just going to go for this direction here. And see if we can connect this road somehow. If there is any connection to the map's border and alongside there, we will find it. And then we can do the same into this direction. With another door, of course. Yay! Beautiful. That satisfies my uh, paranoia. Wow, the miners have to run really. We'll see what they'll find, if they'll find something. Oh, that section ain't done yet. Ugh. Right. So, second step, ramp, wall. There we go. Really happy when we're done with that part. A little bit exhausting because it's hard to plan ahead because you need to wait until the floors have been actually placed there before you can um how to put it or you can put a wall uh, on top of it all right so there's nothing here connecting this oh. so we're going to take a wider approach here Okay, so, well... Why is there a gathering job? Okay, so this is not really helpful. I want to know where about what that deep pit is supposed to be. Alright, seven. It sounds like a connection between caverns level one and caverns level two. So... I don't get the harvesting job here. Okay, so let's uh, move our friends away from there and seal off that door. Cool. So this didn't help us at all. Let's wait for that door to be delivered. What I hope to find is a connection into this direction, but it didn't. It, so far, it doesn't seem like we're getting too lucky here. Started to rain quite heavily outside just a moment ago. Like the rainstorm coming down. Alright, we gotta wait here for that door to be delivered, otherwise it, uh, it won't work out. Elevation level 7. We only have a few more left to go. Gotta say, this looks really good, though. This looks really, really good. Jeez, where's that door? Alright. So. I know it's a little bit radical to go all the way downstairs there, but, you know. This way, 
if there is a connection between this continent and the other, we will find it now. That's what we came for. Alright. This would be also an excellent opportunity, I just noticed, to have a uh, minecart system supporting the outer borders of the fortress with goods. But that would be something that I'd, I'd need to look up a tutorial for by for myself because I never set up any logistics networks with with with, with uh, mine wagons. I did a lot of things in this game already, but there's also a lot of things in this game that I didn't have done yet. All right. Yay! The next level. So, yeah, we gotta wait until that's been constructed and then we can put up the jobs for the next ones. We're soon done with that part. Really grateful once we are. Because the actual bridge itself will be quite as simple as the street here. Just a little bit more tedium involved. But apart from that, it's not gonna be any more complicated or anything in terms of uh, construction effort or anything. The aqueducts and the pump stacks, they will be quite a uh, quite a juicy part still, but only in the design. Once they are designed, it'll be a lot of uh, finicky work, then a little bit of praying to our mock that everything will go off as intended, nobody will drown, the fortress will stay dry, and then we got a functioning aqueduct at the end. Or at least that's my plan. All right. This door is taking forever to be delivered. Jeez. Alright, so we did it, guys. This is this is what we came for. This is what we came for. Down there is a connection between this tile, this map tile, and the other one. Brilliant. And it's all covered with cave spider silk. Neat. So we have no automatic web collection here. So we're going to go here as follows. So yeah. Step one, we're going to wall this thing off. This arm of the mine will be walled off. Doesn't it doesn't serve us in any way. But we'll need access to that one. So... How are we going to achieve that? So the desired area is here. Let's see if we can dig ourselves. On over there. Probably just set up a nice outpost there. Alright, this is taking shape. It's a pretty cool little side project. And it's very important for us because, like I said, I I feel like the, the subterrain connection between one fortress and another is really, really important as well. So, second step, ramp, wall. And we're slowly getting uh, things here into shape. Wow, this is looking interesting. Might even put in some some windows here or something like that. Okay, so if we're now digging straight up above, we'll be we'll be just where we want to be. So for starters. We're going to do two things. All right. So first off, some infrastructure. This will be a barracks and a dining room to begin with. 
because we really need some sort of uh, well-being and some sort of safety because we will connect this place to the caverns probably permanently and this requires some guarding and i will also put up a, another commons room over here you know this is a very far distance and while it would be not necessary gameplay wise i find it very necessary fluff wise that we have resting rooms for the weary traveler you know you have had a long journey from one side of the ocean to another you might want to sit down drink a beer eat something before you say hi to the local authorities all right this is really really looking cool so we're going to use the mining upstairs trick here i think We'll have to do it like that. Only a narrow, narrow corridor comes up here. All right, so there we go. Last few bits and bobs. There will be a door here, of course, so we can seal it off if necessity, if it's necessary. And we'll have a third squad of soldiers stationed around here. We'll have food and drink and everything they require around here. I might need to put up a bedroom compartment for these guys so they can sleep there. Tell you what, we're going to, we're going to use our first dormitory here. I never had any dormitories in this fortress so far, but I think it is a very cool opportunity to do that. By now the entire fortress comes comes on by to check it out and smooth a piece of wall. I mean, if you would deduct the wall smoothing, it would be like everybody in the fortress wants to see, oh, what's about this new road? Let's check it out. There's a whole migration. Look at the boy. So many dwarves running around here. <laughs> I love it. So, a guild hall for the farmer guild. I think we already have a farmer guild. Just haven't staffed it out correctly. Let's check it out. Yeah. The Farmer Guild Hall. The Pier of Hailing. Right. So we're going to put up some glorious statuary in here. Hmm. Let's put it there. And that should do the trick. Alright. And now, yet another door that will take days until it is delivered. But I mean, imagine you're a dwarf carrying a door made out of stone all that way on your shoulders. considering making this place a tavern, but I'm not sure if this would be a smart choice. If I make it a tavern, other people will come here to party regularly, and it's really, really far off away from the rest of the fortress. This might result in, in problems. It might result in problems. So here, well, they're not getting uh, the wall constructions done in time. That's because I have ordered so many smoothing jobs. So I probably should stop that. Because I don't like it when these things get delayed too much. Because I lose track of what they are doing and things stop making too much sense and, you know. Before I know what's happening, I'm forgetting entire layers of wall. This ain't good. The fact that these aren't done yet 
that's uh, alarming to me. But you know, if the entire Dwarven city has to go on here to smooth some tiles, it's my own fault that I haven't uh, ordered the um, stone cutting to a couple of people that are really good at it. So you know what, we're going to outsource that now to the experts, because I'm sick and tired of the entire city roaming there. So we'll cancel that. Reassign it now. And only the experts will respond to that. They're legendary in their craft, so that means they, they will get that job done in a very, very uh, fast uh, fashion. There. Look at him go. And the rest of the doings of my fortress will not get interrupted that hard. Usually I never had these problems, because usually I well, I just went and uh, didn't smooth so large portions of my fortress. But yeah. It's always a little bit different, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to go for this huge pod. So, them boys will be smoothing a while. All right. But everything less would be no proper crafts dwarf ship. All right. So now we have again workers left for the actual bridge construction, as you see here. The wall bits are finally getting done. That's good. So let's continue. Elevation level nine. So step, ramp. But it also shows that these folks are really walking a long way by now to get their jobs done. Okay, so finally that last bit of wall has been done. That's the problem. This wall here, I can only assign it when the rest of the wall below has been done. Because I cannot put a blueprint on top of a blueprint. The uh, capabilities of DF Hack are dope, but uh, they are also not limitless. All right, elevation level nine. Only one more to go. Really happy. So we need to furnish these rooms, of course, as well, but one task at a time. Super happy that we got ourselves now a connection to the mainland. Our first real connection to the mainland. I don't know if this makes any gameplay, uh, if this has any gameplay impact of sorts. Oh look, we can actually make our wall a little bit longer here. Nice. With Dwarf Fortress you never know if things have actual big gameplay impact or if you're just fluffing around. Because Funny enough, sometimes things are just not there for Fluff's sake alone. But yeah. Ah, beautiful. We're almost done. At least with the uh, annoying pod. Although we'll see, uh, we will talk again about annoying parts once I start building the aqueduct and the water trap part. Because technically we'd need more than just one of these. And we also need still pillars. But I figured that I'm gonna play around with pillars as soon as I have done the um, the actual bridge. Alright. Dude has everything he needs. That's really relieving to me. Alright. 
Unhappiness in the fortress is slowly on the decline. That's a very, very nice thing to see. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that my food stockpiles are slowly declining. But on the other hand, who does really care since we are still capable of trading with our friends? We're just going to keep trading here. Okay, so elevation level 10. We're... We're actually done. We can now pull this thing through. So... It did take a moment to process that. Alright, but I mean... Elevation level minus one, exactly. So we're now 11 height la layers uh, above the ocean. I think that counts as a magnanimous bridge. All right. Oh, we created a Gabbro Millstone artifact. This is pretty cool in so far as we can use it for our paper production. So. Oh, oh, this is an interesting artwork. So, it refers to an attack on a place. Let's see. Singed Assault to Scholarly Waters. Let's check it out. I have a... Uh... Okay, I really have no clue where that's supposed to be. Just thought it was some part of a conquest down there, but well, it wasn't. All right. So we still have a couple of wall parts to be uh, to get finished there. It'll be a long wall here, and then we'll have the have to construct the the actual aqueduct there still. So the aqueduct construction will be going alongside here so there will be a huge project there again where well I don't know how we're going to go for that I'll have to do a bit of thinking about it about it before we before we go for this so did that hole in the wall get fixed yes it did beautiful Okay. So. I can't believe that I actually managed to draw the entire plan there. Where is everybody? What are they busy with? <coughs> External interruption. Like, nobody is busy with anything anymore. Why is nobody constructing anything? Like, seriously. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? So, we have a caravan arriving. So probably they just were sleeping. I keep being surprised about how much time dwarves can spend sleeping. As you see there, this is... Uh, really a little bit distressing to me. Why is nothing getting done here? So, got the correct block loaded. What are they currently busy doing? I mean, all these clock symbols. Oh, I, I obviously have broken the AI here. So. For whatever reason it is, the uh, construction planner tried to 
start the bridge on the wrong end. Good thing that I ch double checked that, because this uh, just broke the entire process there. But. What is happening here? I really don't get it. External interruption. What, what kind of interruption? I might ask, dear friends. Really weirded out by that right now. There's no obvious reason for them not doing anything up here anymore. Well, it'll require some research i'll be opting out for today thanks for watching everybody we're gonna see each other next episode leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up consider subscribing and of course check out my secondary gameplay channel in the topmost comment it's just waiting for a subscriber 1000 and i'll be getting up more stuff there on a daily basis see you next time and have a good one